Hi, I'm Dr Baverstock, one of the English teachers here at Harris Westminster Sixth Form, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what it's like to study English here at this school. There are many excellent reasons to study English literature. First and foremost amongst these is that it teaches us to think clearly. And what I mean by that is it teaches us to read texts closely, think carefully about what we find in them, and then structure our responses in the form of writing. So we spend a lot of time teaching you how to be really attentive to a text, how to annotate it carefully, and then when you've gathered your thoughts, structuring them into an intelligent essay. So studying English really helps all of your studies at this school because it really advances your ability to think and write clearly. Another great benefit of studying English is that it helps us think about and understand the world we live in today. English is a subject that encompasses many different areas. We learn about our history, we learn about our culture, we learn about where our ideas come from, why we use certain words and phrases and uh, you know where they originated, whether that's from you know, the work of Shakespeare or more recently throughout the writers like Virginia Woolf and James Baldwin. Um, these are the people who have shaped our world um, and remain highly relevant today. And of course, one of the great things about studying literature is that it gives us new ideas and new stories to think with. The kind of texts you'll be studying at A-level here are more advanced than ones than you have probably studied at GCSE. And when I say more advanced, I mean they're more interesting, they're more stimulating, and certainly the, the depth with which we study them, I think you will find them infinitely more rewarding. And finally, I think one of the most powerful reasons to study English is that it opens a whole world of job opportunities. There's a misperception um, at large in the world today that the STEM subjects are the ones that lead to the best job opportunities. All of our research tells us that is completely untrue. Arts and humanities graduates are every bit as employable as STEM graduates, and also they get paid as much. When Google, for example, did research into the kinds of graduates it most wanted to attract, they concluded what they needed were graduates who were skilled in creative thinking, collaborative working, and clearly articulating ideas, and that their best source for these was probably from the world of arts and humanities degrees. So if it works for Google, I think it works pretty much for anyone. Another great thing about studying English at Harris Westminster is that you are supported by the most wonderful library and librarian. Our library has a fantastic collection of literature, not just novels, but also plays, poetry, and then a good collection of literary criticism. Because one of the things we do here is help you learn how to use that, uh, what we call secondary literature, critical thinking by other people, other writers, to help support the development of your own ideas. And we have extensive resources in that field, not just in the form of physical books, but also electronic books and electronic resources and databases, databases of articles. Um, and our librarian herself is an English graduate and incredibly good at helping our students in that area. So all in all, studying English at Harris Westminster opens a whole world of opportunity, enjoyment and intellectual discovery. I hope this interests you and you will put English on your consideration list and either way I look forward to seeing you here in September. One thing I really love about studying English at A-level is the amount of freedom it gives you. Um, you're writing critical appreciation for text, so that means you're not really limited in your structure, and you can really talk about what interests you in whatever extracts you're given or whatever text you're reading. I also like the fact that there's quite a broad range of texts that we actually read, um, and so it kind of caters to everybody's different interests, whether that be a play or an anthology of short stories. Uh, I really, really enjoy the critical analysis we do, which is something I haven't experienced before and there's a focus on doing a lot of further reading and you see you get a genuinely deeper understanding of the text and so when you go from just sort of analysing what the effect of the text is to why that effect happened, looking at the context, uh, looking at additional interpretations, looking at what other people have thought and like the dis discussions we have in class are very, very interesting. I think my favourite thing about English at A-level is um, the ability to apply 
your own ideas and your own personal ideas to texts rather than what you see in a lot of other humanities subjects where you're sort of taking the ideas of other people, say in philosophy or economics, the ideas of other thinkers and having to apply those um, to like, your own lives and the lives of others. I think what's quite nice about English is it's almost therapeutic in the sense that it's quite introspective and it's a lot more to do with your own personal response to a text than with sort of the theoretical consideration of ideas. It feels like a more personal subject. Um, I think my favourite thing is probably the discussions because the people in English, English students are the best, um, they are always open to like receiving different opinions and having a bit of a back and forth. Um, you don't really get that in other subjects um, and it's just like a time in English where you can really let loose. It's broader, the course is a lot broader, you look at a lot, a lot wider range of texts. Um, there is a much higher focus on reading critically and reading outside of the class and um, doing stuff to broaden your knowledge because just reading the class in text, just reading the text in class would not be enough. Um, so yeah, it, it's just a broader course, but that does make it a lot more interesting and it does expand your like knowledge and uh, therefore love of English a lot more. Um, well, there's quite a gap. Um, at GCSE, you're studying set texts um, where you know you, you can kind of predict what you'll be asked about them. Whereas at A level, um, it's much more broad, and so you have to have a much wider understanding um, of what you're actually reading in order to write about it. But I think that it's a lot more fun because you get to really deep dive into your text and um, critically engage with them, which is something you don't really get to do at GCSE. Uh, in terms of analysis of texts, um, you'll find it's often a lot more in depth than it was at GCSE. So at GCSE, you'll look at a poem, and I mean, in most of the GCSE courses, you'll get a series of poems and have to sort of have a broad understanding of all of them because you don't know which one will come up. In the A level course, you do have an unseen segment, but it's an unseen segment which is very often in the vein of a lot of other um, sort of a lot of other literary movements and things like that. And so um, you're able to kind of gain an understanding not just of um, the, the broad specifics of texts, but um, also of texts very much in detail and movements in literary history much more in detail, which I think is quite nice and quite fun. You have more freedom at A level. Um, at GCSE, I found there were a lot of structures in your essays, and you had to, you know, conform to certain ways of doing things, or you don't get the marks. But at A level, you have a lot more free reign. Um, where you just say what you want to say in an essay, um, and of course it has to be convincing and whatever. But you're not limited to certain you know, opinions or way of ways of doing things um, and also you're surrounded by people who also want to do the subject so um, like I said before the discussion is more interesting um, and there's a lot more passion there. A piece of advice I would give to the new year 12 students is definitely do your reading, um, read fiction as much as you can, um, that will strengthen your kind of writing skills, um, your vocabulary, I and mean, it will really help you to not only understand what you're reading, but be able to write about them better. Um, I'd also say uh, engage with your critical reading sources, so um, use JSTOR, use the digital media library, um, and use the Cambridge Companions to most of the things you read, um, in order to kind of get that understanding and be able to reference them in your exams. Yeah, read broadly. Read as much as you can. Uh, read critical stuff. Look at JSTOR, look at Cambridge Companion. All of it is really, really useful. And make notes, because if you don't make notes, you won't remember it. But if you do do that, you'll thank yourself so much later when it comes to revising and things like that and getting the top grades. I think if you're planning on studying English, it's quite important to have a grasp of the kind of 
books that you like to read because that will help you a lot in terms of relaying the text that you do read as a required part of your course to your own um, personal understanding of um, other texts. And if you're able to take from, say, a short story that you've read or a short story collection that you've read that you quite like, apply the ideas that you've got from that to the other texts that you've studied, that can be quite useful to sort of put them in their context and make the texts easier to understand. So I think it's good. I think I'd say two things. First of all, you've got to read all the time. If you're not reading, what are you doing? <laughs> it's fun and you learn new things and, um, and also you get to share it with other people, give you recommendations, which is one of the best things about English. Um, and also, don't be intimidated by um, you know other students in your class or, or you know by the whole course because you're learning and other people are learning at the same time and you want to learn from others rather than you know draw back and not seek out information from them and yeah it's really, it's a really good opportunity.